it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're working on the area of a parallelogram. Now, you know in the past we have worked on the area of a rectangle. Do you remember what that uh, formula was? Yeah, it was length times width. But well, here we have a parallelogram. You might also remember that a rectangle is a kind of parallelogram. Parallelogram just means it has two sets of parallel sides. A rectangle has that, but it has 90 degree angles, right? So if we decided to take a scissors and cut off this little triangle to make a 90 degree angle here, do you realize that we could take that triangle and flip it and put, slide it over and put it right here? And it would give us a rectangle. So here's the good news. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is related to that one for a rectangle. Where a rectangle is length times width, a parallelogram, the area is what's called base times height. So base is the same exact thing as what we would call the length, generally the length in um, a rectangle, but the height, normally we call that the width, I mean usually it depends on what's longer, but the height has to do with the distance when you drop that 90 degrees. So this right here is called the height. You might be saying, Nicole, well, what's this called? Well, if it was a normal rectangle, right, we would have called this the length, we would have called this the width. So I'm going to write length here. With here, because it's a parallelogram, we just use different terms. We use base for that piece that it's sitting on, but the height is the key here. It has to be that 90 degrees. And often with a parallelogram, you know, it's not a right angle because it would be a rectangle, right? So you will see that they will drop down these little dotted lines to show you here's what the height would be if we dropped it a 90 degree angle here. And that's what you're going to use for your base times height formula. Let's try it with a few examples. If I asked you to find the area of this parallelogram, we would do, again, base times height. Our base is 5 inches. Our height, remember, it's when, I'm going to draw my little rectangle, that 90 degrees, so we're looking for that dotted line, it's going to be 3. 5 times 3 is 15 inches, and we still use that squared label because we're looking for area. Try it with this problem. Our parallelogram is just turned a little bit, but we still use base times height. So here, what is our base? Our base this time is the 8 centimeters, and our height, remember, I keep forgetting to draw my little triangles, but the height is where that 90 degree and that dotted line falls. That's going to be 4. So 8 times 4, 32 centimeters squared. If you can do base times height, just remembering that height is not always that side, but it has to do with where that 90 degree angle would fall and the length that's at that moment, then you've got area of parallelogram down cold. Always remember in your mind that cutting off that little triangle and sliding it over, and it's like, oh, I have a rectangle. That hopefully will help you remember that we're looking for the height. Okay, that's it for me, Nicole the Math Lady. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,